And with that, Cabris Marine Corporation, along with its hundreds of employees, officially launched and opened the Pac-Dim ship repair facility on Naval Base. President Joseph Cruz explains. Last December, Cabris was awarded a uh, contract to repair ships alongside here at um, the Naval Base at what used to be known as the uh, ship repair facility. So today we're launching our um, actual activation of the facility. Our first ship arrives next week, uh, the 14th of April. It was last year when the U.S. Navy awarded Cabris Marine with a one-year contract with four option years for pier site ship repair capabilities at the former U.S. Naval SRF worth approximately $75 million. Cruz says he was not privy to the details as to the state of how the former tenant Guam Shipyard left it, only saying they've been resolved, but it required some work. So now that we have had access to the space, we've installed our own equipment. So during that time to now, we've been preparing the facility to fix ships. So over the last two months, you know, we've been having equipment installed, uh, having the facility uh, rehabilitated, and uh, getting our our workforce in place. That workforce involves 220 employees. Crew says 80 to 100 of them were formerly employed with the Guam shipyard. As we reported, it was last year when Guam shipyard employees were suddenly laid off without notice once the contract was awarded to Cabris. Crews expects to hire 50 to 100 more. It's so important to Guam because it's an opportunity for us to contribute to diversifying our economy. I mean, we're a very tourism-based economy. And we believe, Cabris does, that um, the ship repair industry is something that Guam could further develop. Uh, the fact that we have many U.S. Navy ships that come to Guam, that we have a uh, thriving military port, um, uh, creates that opportunity. Speaking of opportunities, Cabris held an indentureship ceremony for 50 candidates part of the company's apprenticeship program, including 19-year-old Rebecca Stratton, one of a handful of women in the program who has been fire watching and observing welders. I decided to become involved because, you know, I'm looking for opportunities to make my life better and to learn traits that can help me as I grow up. Also in the same boat is 23-year-old Stevie Villanueva, who hopes to become a certified marine mechanic to fix ships not only on Guam, but around the world. I want um, better opportunities in life and I want to move forward and I mean I, I, I've been, I experienced having a dead-end job and it didn't work so well and um, yeah, I mean, it's just a, you know, it's an open door and I want, it's an opportunity and I want to grab it. And with its first ship set to arrive next week, these two and the many other employees of Cabras can expect more work heading their way. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.